Welcome into Seahawks Today by Chat Sports. I'm Megan Payton. We've got Seahawks offseason news and rumors. As you know, free agency is starting to heat up. People are asking questions. But the first thing we are talking about is what's happening with the Seahawks defensive coordinator situation. We did a list on who we thought would be top candidates, and it seems like Ed Donatel is sticking out. Fowler and Graziano this weekend said that Donatel is the front runner for the defensive coordinator opening. He had the top five defense in Denver the last few years. He's also had ties from two separate stints at University of Washington. And clearly the connection with Donatelle and Pete Carroll is their time spent together back at the Jets. You know, we mentioned him a bunch in our previous video. And just to reiterate, Donatelle is someone that I really think would be good for Seattle because it's, you know, going out a little bit. You're not bringing in a guy just from your own, you know, locker room or your own staff, but you're saying, hey, I'm going to bring in someone that is familiar with Pete Carroll. They've worked together. He knows Pete Carroll's defensive scheme, how he likes it. And I think that them two together could be a pretty good match. You look at the Broncos 2020. 21 defense. They were ranked number three this year in points per game, only allowing 18.9. They're passing yards per game pretty good as well. Top 10, they were ranked number eight, only allowing 214.8. And you can go through this list yourself. I think the main question is how much can you know Donatelle's system change what Seattle's doing and how much can it actually change their outcome? You look at just 2019, 2020, and 21. This was just the scoring kind of stats with Donatelle throughout his time in Denver. He was 10th, as we said, or, or in an earlier video in 2019. So that's not terrible. 25th, though, in 2020. So that was a very much a down year for Donatelle. And in 2021, as we said, Breaking up, going number three. Now, of course, we do have to say, is his job going to be available? We don't know. It would be a lateral move if Donatelle was to stay in Denver. But obviously, with Vic Fangio being fired, this leads to the question of, well, is he most likely going to stay in Denver? Probably not, just because, as we've said, you bring in a new coach. That head coach likes to make their own decisions, bring in their own guys. So I do think that he would be available, and I actually think this would be a great option. Now, we did give a few other options in our Ken Norton Jr. replacement video. We'll make sure to add this in the comments and in the description. If you want to check this out, we went through like 10 guys that we think would be good but back to Ed Donatel, I want to ask you guys, if the Seahawks were to go ahead and hire him, what would you grade this? Would you say this is an A-plus decision? Seahawks got it right this time. Would you say it's a fail? Do not go this route. Grade it somewhere in between A, B, C, D, or F. This is the pinned comment for today's show. So get your votes in. Let me know what you guys are thinking. All right, we are going to shift gears to Seahawks free agency. This is, I think, a really fun topic as we get into what's going to happen with Seattle Seahawks next year. Obviously, they've got a lot of decisions in their own locker room to make, but then there's clearly guys that are going to become available. Now, 710 ESPN Seattle, Jake Heaps did an article about what free agents he thinks that would help Seattle. They really stuck on two different guys, and we're going to go over both of them give you our opinions. You guys can give us your feedback on them. But before we get into the two free agents that Seahawks should maybe go after, I'm telling you guys now, if you have not already joined the Seahawks today, family. We love to keep you updated on everything going around Seattle. The off season is here, but the rumors are coming in hot. We are literally 30 subscribers away from 24,000. So we'll do our part and keep you guys updated, but help us out here. Help us get to 24K. You can go to youtube.com slash Seahawks TV or click the red button, but make sure you are part of our family. All right, who did Jay Keeps talk about? First guy, Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones, this is such an interesting one to me. It's very intriguing. Now, I know it's sometimes hard to talk about guys that are really good that are in your division that you compete with every year, twice a year. And so when you think of Chandler Jones, there might be a little like anger that you guys have towards him just for, you know, going up against him, you know, throughout the times that Cardinals and Seahawks play each other. But you cannot doubt or even reconsider the fact that he is a dominant player in this league in 2021 he had 41 tackles he had 10 and a half sacks 12 tackles for loss six forced fumbles and one fumble recovery he is now a free agent he will hit the free agency market he is going to have a decision to make and i agree with jay keeps i think that jones would be great in seattle now 
clearly is he a perfect player? No. But I do think that you look at the Seahawks defense. You think about how can they improve this defense. I do think that Chandler Jones would help. He's a leader, great guy in the locker room from what I've heard. He's someone that could come in and just make a splash in an area where Seahawks have been struggling. And it's clearly been some, he's clearly been someone that has stood out throughout the years. If you look at the most sacks since 2016, Chandler Jones is in this list ranking at number three. He's had 71 and a half sacks. One and two, Aaron Donald, TJ Watt, then right there is Chandler Jones. So I do like him. He has been up and down, though. So am I going to put him in the Aaron Donald category right now? No, probably not. I do think that Jones has declined a touch, but then, you'll know, he'll have games where he bounces back. I do think that... Uh, Chandler Jones is a fun option, but the other fun guy that we need to take a peek at is Akeem Hicks. Akeem Hicks is Jake Heap's next guy that he mentioned, which I do think he would be a fun addition in Seattle. In 2021, he had 25 tackles, three and a half sacks, five tackles for loss. He is considered like a defensive end, but we see him kind of act more as if like kind of a linebacker, I'd say. Um, Akeem Hicks, if we look at what he did in 2020, a way more dominant year for him. 49 tackles, nine tackles for loss, three and a half sacks, one pass breakup. And sorry, when I say more dominant, I meant just, I thought we were looking at this 2021. He had a more dominant year in 2021, but in 2020, you could see a little bit of the downfall there. This defensive line, though, for Seattle does need improvement. You look at these guys, a lot of them are going to become free agents. So what are they going to do with Al Woods? What are they going to do with Rasheem Green? These are decisions that they have to make. I do think that we have seen some improvement from some of these guys. Al Woods is someone that I would like them to resign. I don't know what they're going to do with Rasheem Green, but Chandler Jones and Akeem Hicks are definitely guys to look out for. So I'll ask you guys right now, if you had to pick one of these free agents that Jake Heaps suggested would you go with Chandler Jones or would you go with Akeem Hicks? Type CJ in the comments for Chandler Jones or type AH for Akeem Hicks. Now, guys, there is plenty of things to bet on, even though the Seattle Seahawks are out of the playoffs. And we are here to tell you about a great deal going on over at BetUS. If you go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code Seahawks125. You are going to get a 125% deposit bonus. So if you put up 100 bucks, it's going to turn into 225. You'll have that free $125. You can do whatever you'd like with it. You can bet on Super Bowl odds. You can bet on playoffs. You can bet on another sport. It doesn't matter. But I do like this one. Seattle's odds to win the Super Bowl 57 next year. They are plus 3,500. All you've got to do is risk 10 bucks. And if the Seahawks win the Super Bowl, you will make $350. That's pretty good. If you guys are willing to just, you know, put $10 aside, win big. If Seattle goes big, show your Seahawks some support, show your faith in them. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code Seahawks125. Okay, we've got to talk quarterbacks and we've got to talk Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers and Russell Wilson, they both are just going to take over the offseason with the rumors. Fan cited throughout five Roger trade destinations if he wants out this offseason. We've heard the rumors about Rodgers. We've heard the rumors about Russell Wilson. Now, Seattle is mentioned as a potential landing spot for Rodgers. Now, Seahawks obviously have their quarterback, their franchise quarterback in Russell Wilson. So I'm not going to spend time saying Aaron Rodgers should come over Russell Wilson. We need Russell Wilson. Let's keep Russell Wilson. It's a great guy. You do not want to change that. And so we're not even going to really get into that. But we do have to talk about this report with Aaron Rodgers potentially coming here. Let's live in the world that Russ wanted out. Aaron Rodgers wanted in. This is almost a lateral move, though. And so I just... You know, you look at what Aaron Rodgers is wanting. What is he wanting that he's not getting in Green Bay? I don't know if Seattle provides that. There's like five teams on this list. You know, they talk Raiders. They're talking Steelers. We're going to go through some of these here in a sec. But I just don't see Rodgers coming to Seattle. And I also don't see Pete Carroll. Not that he wouldn't be interested in it. But, you know, why in the world would you get rid of Russell Wilson and then try to bring in Rodgers? It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you clearly cannot doubt, though, that he has been a very good quarterback and continues to still be very dominant. This year, uh, he had 
four th- over 4,000 yards as well as last year. I mean, the stats look pretty much consistent in both years. Yes, there's some difference in, you know, QBR rating, but he did have, you know, a couple more interceptions this year than last. He did have more touchdowns last year. But overall, Rodgers is still a very dominant quarterback. But Seattle has their guy. We're sticking with Russell Wilson. These trade rumors are going to come up. And you know what? They might be valid. At the end of the day, Russ might be gone. And that might be the case. But for now, I'm never going to say that I don't want Russell Wilson in Seattle because I do believe that the Seahawks have found their franchise quarterback in Russ. And so got to get him happy. You've got to get on the same page. It'll happen. But I am sticking with Russ. Now, as far as Aaron Rodgers, it's just kind of fun to predict. We look at the Rodgers destinations that they had talked about in that fan edit article. They've got Broncos at number one, Steelers at number two, Seahawks at three, Raiders at four, and Saints at number five. So I don't think it's Seahawks. I really don't. I mean, in fact, who knows? It could just be Green Bay, and their rumors are just as bad as the Russell Wilson rumors. But I will say I could see Rodgers in Pittsburgh. They have talked about the relationship Rodgers has with Mike Tomlin and that, you know, he's definitely praised Tomlin in the past, even this off season. And so obviously they are looking to rebuild their offense with big Ben out. I could see Rodgers potentially wanting to go to a place like Pittsburgh, but enough on the Rodgers talk. Let's get back to Russell Wilson. Who is the better quarterback? Is it Russell Wilson or Aaron Rodgers? This is our final question for today's show. So go down, give Russell Wilson some love, guys. Come on, go type RW if you want Russell Wilson as your quarterback and you think that he's the better QB. And if you're secretly a Packers fan watching our video, that's okay. You can go to the comments right now and type AR for Aaron Rodgers.